Welcome back to another one. Today, we're not as much in the outdoors. We're in my room today, because we got a special one. Today, we are reviewing a new reel. Uh, it's my birthday a couple weeks ago, so I decided, what the heck, I'll order this reel. This is the reel of all reels. If you know anything about fishing, you want this one. So without further ado, let's get right into it. That's right guys, the Shimano Stratic 2500 HG. Just look at the box of this thing. This thing means business. Right before we get into it, let's just take a quick little look. As you can see on the outside, this is a 6 to 1 gear ratio. Yeah, 6, 6 .1, or 6 .0 to 1 gear ratio. It's got a 20 pound drag. It says it weighs 7.9 ounces, but today we're going to really see if that's true. It's got a 6 plus 1 bearings and 35 inch uh, per crank. As you can see, nylon mono, 2.5 pound, 150, or 2.5, uh, whatever that means, I can't remember. Anyway, 2.5 for 150. Um, that's your 0.25 uh, diameter, so like a 0.25 braid, not sure what that would equal. It'd be 160 uh, meters, and then of course, 8 pound, 140 meters, or 140 yards, sorry. So then on the back, you got the X-Protect, that's the main thing about this Stratic. Uh, then you got the micro module too, not sure what that means. Maybe we'll discover it when we open it up. Before I open it up, I do want to say I have been inside the box and I have touched the reel. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. It's all for scientific reasons. So you open it up. Let me just prop the camera up a little bit more. Okay. So you got your spinning reel manual. If you really get bored, you can probably take a look at this. Probably hurt. Not me. I'm not going to look at it. Throw it in the garbage. This is your parts manual. So it shows everything. This is uh, the 1000. The book shows everything from the 4,000, and it opens right up. Again, not going to need that. All right. Well, let's look at these first. These right here, as you can see, as you can see on the bag, he says, put that down. <clears throat> as you can see, it says, please use the enclosed adjustment washers in order to create the winding shape you prefer. As for me, again, like I said, I've been inside a very, well, you'll see in a second, but I'm not going to need them. Put those back. Slide these back. If you hear stomping, my room's in the basement, so you hear all the people. All right, so we'll take the reel out. That's what everyone's reading. As you can see, I have put fishing line on this. That, again, is for scientific reasons, like I've said. But anyway, just look at it. Absolutely stunning. There you go. Stratic 2500 HG. Nice chrome. I don't know if you pick it up on camera, but there's a little blue right in the spool here. This is 8 pound maximum uh, super green, I think it's called. If not, I'll put it right here in the video. I can't remember the name of it. I put it on here because nobody wants to know the weight of a reel without line on it. So I put line on it so we know exactly how much. 8 pound and it says it'll do 140 yards. This will be 140 yards ish of line and we'll put it on the scale and see how much it really weighs. But as you can see, we'll take the cover off here. There. This handle, it's pretty nice. I've got a a Sedona, and it feels a little bit better than that one. Well, obviously, it's about $100, $200 more than it. But you can see, it's your seal here. Keep all the water out. I think that's part of that X-Protect is all the extra um, added pieces to keep the water out. But as you can see, here's the spool. Nothing fancy. Well, this is the long stroke spool, they call it, I guess. So it is a little fancier. Uh, better casting, it says it with it, and better line management. Here's the inside look. Just the, the main shaft, you got a little bearing cover here, the little red piece, keeps all the water and sand out. 
Got your gears up here. Those are the spacers right here. I don't know if you can see it. These things right there, that's what that was in that little baggie. Not just keeps it from on your spool. You can see it's a very even spool. Some rods, it'll or some reels, sorry. It'll be high up here and low down here, or high up here and low down here. That's what those washers are for to keep it so it sits on there evenly. Um get the handle out. Here's your handle. The one thing I've noticed too is it's got a little rubber washer inside there. I know the GoPro's not the best at auto fo or focusing up close. Uh, right in there, there's a little washer. And if for me, I have a Abu Garcia Revo X, and it's got the same style handle except the little piece you screw on here is different. It takes a screwdriver. This handle does not fold. It is one piece. So when you stick it in there, you either take it out and risk getting sand and water in there, or leave it in there and risk getting bent. So I think I'll take the bent version. Let's see if I can get this in there without cross-threading it. There it is. Put the cover back on. Not the cover, sorry. Put the spool, put the spool back on. Let's see if I can get that on. There we go. Okay, now that this is back on there, you can see that this is some, like, oh, I'm not even cranked down, and this drag is tight. Like, this is going to be a great reel for my uh, new uh, Fenwick HMG, sorry. Just super nice reel here. Nice handle, too. I like that. Super smooth. Okay, so I got, I've got the scale now. Set for ounces. Let's set it on here and see how much it weighs. So it's saying with the eight pound test and the reel, 8.18. .8. So on, like I said on the box, it says it weighs 7.9 ounces the way it sits. I put 160 yards worth of eight pound test and it equivalents to this. Okay, so now we're gonna compare it to a different reel I have. This here is a Shimano Sedona. Made by, this is a Shimano, that's a Shimano, same thing. Just a lot different in price. But I was just saying, before those washers it gave me how you can see how the line right here is way more than back here so I can almost use they might not work they might one of the spacers it came with to add more to this to space it out so I get more right here I might try that I might not we'll see but here's the different the look at them too this one is also a 2500 the Sedona and just by feel, I'm not gonna lie, the Sedona feels a little lighter. I don't, it could be the braid. I don't know, I might be crazy, but we'll, we'll take a look. I got the scale right here. Okay. All right, so it's set down to again. If you can see that, there you go. Now you can see it. 8.99. So it's just about one ounce heavier. And I guess in the fishing world, an ounce is quite a bit. Let's just get that back out of the way. So as for feel, sorry, that's just a line clock in there. This Sedona doesn't feel as smooth, and that's a given because this rod retails. I think I paid for uh, for. I think I paid a hundred dollars for it at Canadian Tire. And this one I paid 315 shipped to my door from the fishing hole and I'm almost glad it it's uh, smoother because for the price I would have been a little upset if it wasn't um as for anything different you obviously can see the spool is a lot different so they're not giving you the same old cheap uh, spool they're obviously changing it up um, actually what's funny is if you look here, this part and this part are just about identical, so they must use that the same. The caps are different, you can see there and there, um, yeah, 
That's enough talking about this Sedona. Let's just set it off to the side. Let's go back to why we're all here. This reel will be teamed up with my uh, Fenwick HMG. It's a 6.9 medium light, so this 2500 will fit perfectly on it with the 8-pound test. It'll be more of my trout rod, uh, walleye rod. I'm not, definitely not going to go and fight some big old 40-inch pike with it. I've already got enough rods for those. Um, this will be more of my uh, rigging rod. Uh, I've got a walleye compre that this stone actually sits on. This is my jigging rod. That's why it's got a 10-pound test and a fluorocarbon leader. But this one I'll probably throw, uh, you know, the, the odd stuff that you would for walleye. Uh, I might troll with it, not sure. I have a, another rod I like to troll with a lot. So this will probably be a occasional rod for trolling or casting a spinner maybe who knows we'll see but yeah make sure you stay tuned because as soon as i get out on the water as soon as it breaks up here in alberta it's quite a bit of ice left on it's only march 20 it's, uh 21st today yes yeah, 21st today so should be another about another month and we should be able to use this bad boy so uh thanks for watching make sure you stay tuned like i said because i will be using this and have another review video on it after I uh, catch some fish with it. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like, and I'll see you in the next one.